What's up everybody? Today I want to talk about maybe a more controversial topic that is Christians and copyright laws. Uh, I have despised how Christians use copyright laws uh, for a long time. And uh, I'm not... I'm not gonna, you know, call individuals out, um, but there's a lot of shady things that go on behind the scenes with copyrights. Um, and I want to, before we get too deep into the weeds, I want to show some examples of, and I don't think this is the artist's decision, so don't get me wrong here. I'm not calling out any of these artists, um, but this is a I have a no-name channel uh, with zero subscribers. <laughs> this is a perfect example. Uh, and some of this is YouTube's fault, don't get me wrong. Um, I have a no-name channel, uh, zero subs. I have like barely like 100 views. Um, but I have a ton of copyright uh, claims on my, on my channel because... I was listening and reviewing Christian music. Uh, so let's look through all these copyright claims. Some of them are pretty out, uh, outstanding, or crazy, I think. All right, so <clears throat> most of these are normal copyright claims. Um, so you'll see the details here. There's no restrictions, but because I used the song played, what a, what a face there. <laughs> because I used the, the song, you know, they've claimed it. So, TuneCore, on behalf of Holy Street Records, whoever all that is, uh, claims the whole song uh, and any revenue in the video. And I'm not, I don't make anything in all in these videos, so I don't care. Um, that's not why I'm doing this channel. Um, so, sure, you want to claim it? Whatever. I am using it. Could I argue fair trade, uh, fair use? Maybe. Uh, it's the legality is a little sticky because I did use the whole the whole video, um, but I felt like you should be able to like in a review you should be able to use the whole video. Like I didn't play the whole video and then like comment on it. I stopped it periodically, but that's all the legality stuff. So you know if this is the outcome visibility everybody can see this video not a problem I don't care and we've got one two three four five six seven of those and as you can see from the bottom we've got another one <laughs> a Toby Mac song that got partially blocked I'm like what like what is this what, what is this so I look into this Russia and Belarus. So, UMG and Forefront, whoever they are, don't want Russians or Belarus, Belarusians, because of the war, whatever, uh, to see a video with the gospel being preached. Um, talking about church worship. What? Like feel like as a Christian I'm like what what Russia and Belarus need now is the gospel like um, so I'm not saying like that my video is specifically like um, preaching the gospel but the song but I, the, they, they copyrighted the song and they're blocking the song from being played in Russia and Belarus so Russians and Belarusians cannot listen to Toby Mac singing the gospel because because their leaders have uh, um, uh, have started a war. You gotta be kidding me! Like that's that, that's ridiculous and unchristian. Like the people who need the gospel the most are the people who started the war. Like you know. Uh, so let's, it's stupid, like, I can understand some companies, like, 
stopping trade with with Russia and Belarus to increase the uh, um, pressure for them to stop but for Christian I, I don't know if uh, uh, UMG and Forefront are Christian companies but let's assume they are because Toby Mac is working for them assuming these are even the rightful owners of this song <laughs> I don't know uh, I don't really care uh, uh, like that's that's ridiculous that's just ridiculous uh, but that's not even the worst you you might nobody's seen these because like I've got like zero views <laughs> and, and it's because I don't play the song uh, um, the Brandon Heath song they didn't want you to see I talk about a little bit and then Matthew West as well so Brandon Heath and Matthew West whoever owns their copyright I don't remember because I deleted those videos and redid them uh, they copyright claimed it and blocked it from everybody so I was like okay I can I can tolerate the the, the copyright claims you know I'm not making money off this anyway so whatever you know I'm just here to review music but they copyright claimed it and blocked it from anybody ever seeing it I'm just like why would you do that like it doesn't make any sense to me it kind of reminds me of um, oh what's his name um, there's a, a youtuber I don't know why his name's blanking now but uh um, Mike Winger, there you go. Um, he he did some videos criticizing Joel Olstein, and he reviewed the entire sermon uh, or an entire Joel Olstein sermon, and uh, they copyright claimed it, which is ironic that they wanted to get the money off of Mike Winger's video, which was just exploding. But then eventually they realized that it was actually doing more damage than good, and so they blocked it, the whole thing. I'm just like. <laughs> you know they didn't want people to see it but I mean why would they block, block this from everybody seeing it uh, from a no name channel like uh, yeah it just doesn't make any sense to me so that that's my experience so far with this channel um, <clears throat> I, I've had different views on copyright and I think it's because um, you know that I'm a musician and you know I've studied church history a lot and it's it's impossible for us to have music that's not built upon all the music that's come before us um, like you hear a lot of hit songs these days are just old hymns repackaged like and then you copyright that song as if you, you're the one that wrote it but it was some dead guy, you know, 100, 200 years ago. It's like, hmm. Like, so this guy's letting you use, your, use their music and make money off of their music, which which I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with. But then you're going to turn around and not allow anybody else to do the same thing. Like, that's, uh, okay, okay. And, and, and some of this comes down to the... Christian music um, companies, the record labels, because they uh, refuse to let anybody um, use this. But I'm like, if you're writing church or music for the church, especially worship music, like there should be no possibility f to sue churches for doing whatever it takes for them to to use your mu the Christian worship music in, in worship. Um, and so I don't really like, um, don't really like the way the system is set up. Um, it, and and I, think, I think the reason why is because I think that music that, or music that Christian musicians make is for the church. Um, at least that's, the way it should be. <laughs> um, when I write music, when I sing music, when I play music, it's for the church. Uh, I mean, sure, there can be some personal benefits to that, um, but but my, my, my goal in all of it 
is to give God back the gifts that he's given me. To use the gifts that God has given me for his church, for the bride of Christ. And so, if I write a song and it becomes a hit song, yeah, I think it's fine for a musician to make money for writing the song and that be a way to, you know, provide for your family and for your needs. Um, but I'm also critical of like being super strict about who who and when you can play this. Like it's one thing for somebody else to like play your songs and claim it's theirs. And I think that's despicable. You know, if it's your song, it's your song. Like don't um, uh, don't steal someone else's song. Like that's that's a, a bit far, but it's another thing for like these small churches in their area to you know put a, a they have a, uh, a really good choir, and so they, you know, record them singing a whole bunch of songs, and part of how they, you know, pay for their church build, their new church building is by selling CDs of their choir singing a bunch of Christian songs to the community. Like, whatever, you know. I'm like, okay, sure, whatever, you know. Um, I don't want the, I don't want the church in general to be so focused on the, the financial side that we're forgetting that worship is for the church. Like, the, the, the songs we write are supposed to be for the church. And so, I don't think these individual artists have any control over their songs, which is one of the problems, I think, with... Uh, uh, and they might have... Some, like, bigger artists might have more control over songs, but some of these uh, record labels, like, that are Christian... Like they own everything. They own everything that person does, and uh, um, I don't know if that's necessarily in the Christian Christian world. So, if if I'm overstepping for the Christian record labels, I'm sorry, but I know that's how that works in in the secular world. I don't know that there's any difference in the Christian label. So, it's it's an interesting topic. Um, I uh, I don't want to overstep, but I have a feeling that it's true, and I think. One of the problems is that, um, uh, well, we'll talk about that in another video. Um, so, <clears throat> I really dislike the, the copyright. Um, again, I don't mind them copyright claiming these videos and, you know, getting the two cents that, you know, my 15 views will, will give them, <laughs> you know, whatever. If, if that, it might be like two percent of a penny <laughs> but uh you know uh, yeah it's whatever i don't care but when you start blocking videos like come on guys like that's just that's ridiculous like are we not all on the same team are we not all working for the advance of the church and the gospel like around the world uh because it doesn't seem like that for whoever owns uh those brandon heath and matthew west songs like doesn't seem like we're playing for the same team or even like toby max uh record labels like um are, are we playing for the same team because uh the christians that i know wouldn't block the preaching of the gospel or the singing of the gospel in countries that desperately need it so yeah like i can understand you know sticking with ukraine but there's a limit to that like we're not going to not preach the gospel to Russia and Belarus because they started a war. In fact, the, all the more reason to preach the gospel to Russia and Belarus because they started a war. Um, well, but Belarus didn't start it. They just joined it, I think, is how that how that happened. But, you know, so it's just like, come on, guys. Like, uh, I think you're shooting the, the – you're holding back the gospel from people, and I think that's wrong. Um and I think for copyright, uh, copyright in general, like I, I, I don't want to cast blame on any any one artist because I don't know individual. I don't know their heart. I don't want to cast blame on individual record labels. I don't know their heart. I mean, they do need to make money. That's a good thing for them to, you know, use the laws that are of the land to to make money. But at the same time. I think that there is a very good possibility that there are some Christian 
Christian artists who care more about the money and the fame uh, that comes with uh, having a Christian label uh, than, than they do about, uh, you know, preaching the gospel. So, just something to think about, something to think about. Um, so, let me know what you think uh, about copyrighted music and all this stuff. And, uh, some uh, artists being stingy about their works being used in the church. And um, I'm not naming names. I'm not saying it, casting any blame on anybody individually because, honestly, I don't know anybody's heart. But um, it's, it's definitely a thing. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, leave me a comment. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'm just talking about everything worship uh, related in the church. And uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. Peace.